Picked up by Marku. Marku kicks down to the half forward zone. A chance for Shine. Taken by McClure. Given to Ashman. Ashman shoots the ward goal. Could be a Carlton goal. That is a Carlton goal. Kicked by Rod Ashman. He'll be kicking down to Ward McClure, who's let out very well away from uh, Kennedy. Picked up by Ashman. Might be two goals in two minutes to Ashman. Is it true? That is so. Ashman kicks his second goal. That's Andrew Bennett against Glascott. In goes Riggs. Well done, the young player, Riggs. Picks it up, too slow to get rid of it though, as, uh, and he's lost the ball as Ashman tackled him and it was holding the ball set up by a side bottom. And Ashman tried to play on, wasn't permitted. Seven's big league from Raven Oval, showing Ashman going up to Roy Glaskett. Little bit of shepherding by Blackwell there, could have been. Alvin picks it up on half forward, beautiful kick. Centers the ball, looking for Hunter. Over the back was Cowie, now it's Ashman, top one round the neck, and Ashman from 30 metres out directly in front will take an easy shot for goal. Well, Robert May started the game up very well, had about six or seven possessions in the first quarter, but in this term, giving away a few free kicks. So this one to Ashman was, will just about result in a goal because Ashman's only about 35 to 40 metres out from goal, having his eighth kick. Oh, he's off. Oh, is he off target? Yeah, I think it's drifted, is it? No, he got there. Drifted after he got through the goal. So Ashman... The Blues are too good at the moment for the Saints. Up towards Mark McClure. No mark. Now here's Danger. Ashman charges in after it. Fires at the goal. Good that's goal. a great effort by Rodney Ashman. A beautiful goal. And that's a tremendous goal for a little Carlton run. So McClure will go into the forward pocket or half forward flank area finding Ashman. Ashman's pass to Hunter was a gem. What a beauty. So Hunter takes the mark in the forward pocket position for Carlton. Goes off, magnificent pass, and a oh, shocking mark. mark. Poor effort there by Donald McDonald. Up it goes to Ashman from Bruce Reed, and this could cost him a goal from a poor attempt to mark by Donald McDonald because that was a good pass, Jack. Nothing wrong with the pass. The approach to the mark was poor, very poor indeed. You summed it up, but I didn't think Glenn Dinning should have gone into the centre anyhow. He should have come around the flank. Ashman's kick toward goal looks close. It's a goal. So eventually, kicks in toward the centre of the ground. No time to be looking around. Smith couldn't take the mark. Took his eye off the ball. Play on to call. It comes into the half forward zone. Picked up by Reese Jones. He'll go. He'll go from there. Jones puts it on its way. It's through. I don't know. Glenn's so quick. Normally, he must have been reloading the gun. Rhodes kicked down towards the half forward line again. I tell you what, Carlton fans. Is certainly getting their money's worth here this afternoon at the moment. Rod Ashman now 30 metres out. The opportunity to post his side's fifth goal and to give them the break that really the wind is worth. Ashman's drop punt. He doesn't miss too many. He's kicked his second. And Carlton kick away to 5-2. Leading Geelong to 2-4 on sevens. Big lead. Forward, but McConville intercepted. Hand pass across to Ashman. Ashman puts a long kick down. McClure from behind in position and takes the mark. Great grab. Well, he's been in form, the big man. He's only had four kicks today, but road six. But they're certainly doing their bit. As Ashman gets them going again down. A little short one from Bruns. So, once again, a centre bounce. What are you grinning at? A little short one. <laughs> Ashman comes out with a ball. Puts it long over the oh. head of Zeitler. It's through for a goal. A wonderful goal from Rod Ashman. Ashman brings up his third goal. An excellent game of football on the little number 14 for Carlton. And Carlton players will run for everywhere to congratulate him on that effort. So I think they're back in business, the Blues. Get out of trouble to Rode on the half-back flank. Rode gives it on to Ashman. Ashman was looking to give it back to Rode. He's having a field day. Now in towards the centre, and the mark taken by Wayne Johnston. Johnston's hand pass was smothered. It comes to Boss, intercepted by Glascott. Ashman's there. Gives the hand pass across to Buckley. Buckley got the hand pass in with Alvin and followed down the ground. Elvin puts it wide and Meldrum takes a nice mark. Plays on into the open goals. Four goals to Meldrum. An excellent 
piece of teamwork by the... Robertson back to McClure. He's too far out. The ball drops short. Aspen's got that mark. And Aspen will only be about uh, 15 metres out on a bit of an angle, but should kick this one. And they there it is, a strong mark by Aspen. And I mentioned that Alvin played a pretty good game for Carlton last week, and so did this guy. There's the kick on its way. And there's no doubt about that one. That's a goal to Aspen and Carlton. So as we approach the 20-minute mark of the... Kick that one. More oh, David De Hughes, and he was covered. Not good play there by Melbourne. Let's Aspen in. Always does something useful. This time, no exception. Back to Montgomery. Have a rest, Robert, will you, for a minute, please? Down towards McClure, lent in. Ashman fires. Goals. Second one on the board to the Blues. Lovely goal, Sandy. Not Ashman. Favoring the Brewongle stand wing. Underneath it is Ashman takes the good mark. On to Reed. Reese Jones. He's copying the raspberry from the crowd. He's gone for a pass, though. It's not a bad one. Ogier just a little bit too wide for him. Ashman straightens up. Kick well smothered. Major, it's very untidy in there now. Little Murphy has a snapshot, and he's put it through. Scott Center of the back. Got it late. He's on half. It was very late. Oh, bad kick towards Johnson. Beautifully trapped, though. He's uh, collared. Oh, Ashman gets hit around the head. Oh, boy, did he cop that one. Lucky he's got that helmet on, Jack. And the umpire, Clayton, has not missed a thing so far in this match. And Ashman will receive this free kick about 35 metres out from goal directly in front. Got a chance for Carlton's fourth goal. They're not easy to kick today, though. The well, ball's very greasy and I very spoke, heavy. I spoke to Ashman during the week at a schoolboys uh, clinic, and he loves playing against Richmond. This is his seventh kick, Jack, as you see him fire at the goals. Oh, what's he done? I think he's kicked their fourth. And Carlton are on fire. By, by Ogier, within a few metres of goal, a chance for Blackwell. The hand pass comes back out. Blackwell follows through free with kick. a free kick to Carlton. So Ashman again in the thick of things. So Ashman a chance to kick his second goal. Well, he told me he loves playing against Richmond. No wonder if he can get this many kicks. That is kick number eight coming up to Ashman in one quarter. Not a bad performance. Four times eight is 32 kicks, mind you, as you see Ashman fire at the goals. Don't tell me it's another one. It is to Rodney Ashman. And this is a one-horse race at the moment. Play on, said the umpire. Kenny Shelton hooks it back towards half board. Here's a chance for Oja. He's got it. A lovely hand pass to Road. Road dummies. Turns onto the right foot. Hooks it back at the goals. It's all Carlton. Mark it is Ashman. Into the open goal. He goes easy as you like. And Rodney Ashman is playing a magnificent game today for the Blues. It's socket off the ground. Here's Rowley's playing soccer too. He can't pick it up. Here's a chance now for Carlton if they can get the ball moving forward. A chance for Rowley. He balks nicely. He's out on the half forward flank. He gave it to Ashman. He gives it to Murphy. Here's a goal coming up from Murphy. He shoots the one goal. And he's got it. Looking at Centre bounce. Big Madden got the hook down. Beautifully hooked down too. He looked Hit a chance for Road. He hand passes to Ashman. Ashman goes goal. He got the fumbles and he slipped. And the umpire said, oh, You're lucky. lucky. You're very lucky, Rod you Ashman. Say that again. You lost your footing and oh. you were tackled. And you're very lucky to get that. Free I thought kick. he fell over. Well, he lost his footing. Well, he did fall over. So fortune favours Ashman. Ashman a chance to put Carlton back in front. Kicks Goldwood. He's got it. The boundary umpire and Madden doing well, but beaten by Ruse on that occasion. Charles McClure gave it to Ashman. Ashman on the left foot going goalward. It's a goal. Kick by Ashman. Carlton coming forward. He kicks long from behind. Paul Ruse punches the ball. Leon Harris goes in. Here's a chance Ashman. for Ashman. He's put it through. What a goal to the little Carlton champ. Well, the game not over yet at VFL Park. White come off to Dean. Take it away by Pert, and the kick from Pert over the boundary line for mine on oh, the full Carlton's what, free kick. What a game, Jack. What a game it is. One... We're into the time on period. It is 123 to 116, seven points. As we see, just starting the time on period, Rod Ashman goes for a great kick. It's a magnificent it's a kick. It's a goal. It's what a goal. What the difference. 19-9, 1, 2, 3, playing 18-14, 1, 2, 2 on Sevens Big League. Well, what can you say? You cannot write off a champion. Picks it up, drives it back. Chance for Murphy, couldn't hold that mark. Picked up by Ashman, a shot towards the goals. 
This could be a mark. It is a mark. A good mark that time. Under half forward. Dean is dispossessed pretty quickly, but fires the hand pass out to Cork Amelis, who paddles it further forward. Harms back to Ashman. Ashman looking for kick number five, and he's got it. And he's got a goal. That was a smart goal by Ashman. Hardly stopped in his hands a second that time and dropped it onto his boot, Pete. First very talented goal. First goal to Rod Ashman and Carlton lead by five points. It took them only 30 seconds to get it. And so a great start by Carlton in this second quarter. Well played by Cork Amelis. A good hand pass. He juggled the ball. Now watch that. As quick as he grabbed the ball, he dropped it onto his boot. And of course, it deserved a goal. It was like a hot potato for him. 29 to 64, 35 points the difference. Knocked down by Madden again. He's killing them. Ashman oh, gets caught in the sandwich there. Still comes out with the ball. Hand pass comes out to Sheldon from Meldrum. Sheldon has a shot at goal. It could be another one to Carlton. Will it bounce through? I think it has. Goal. Oh, they're kicking them from everywhere. Carlton. Sheldon's got two, and they've both bounced through, I think, from on the ground, you know. Right, well, English. A beautiful long kick by the Carlton defender. Trying to find Ashman. What a great mark. As I said, a football lesson to North Melbourne. Ashman wobbles the punt kick up to Sheldon. Picked up. Good start to this game. 2-2 plays. 1-3. Sheldon. Towards Ashman. On the outer side of the ground. The player running past is Reed. Cunningham comes through to Sheldon. A hand pass to Cork Amelis. He's kicked towards half forward. And Ashman takes a well-judged mark. Rod Ashman puts it on. In for McConville, and he takes an easy mark. Mark it gets good support from McKenzie, who floats the kick towards the forward area. No mark taken. Flanagan's there, beaten for by his opposite number 14. Ashman snaps towards goal. His second, and Kartner in front by three points. Two goals for Rod Ashman. Five goals, five. Geelong, four goals, one. McClure gathers it well. Puts it towards half forward, too high for McConville. Ashman comes through, easily gets around the tackle, goes short looking for McKenzie, and he does not let him down. Been a good honest battler all day. Here comes Carlton. They look dangerous when they get it out in the open. Here's Ashman having a great day. Onto the left foot. He's looking up for McKenzie. Oh, here's danger. Look, look at Hunter charging after the ball. He's got it. Too slow that Melbourne defence. Easy goal to Kenny Hunter. And Carlton starting to put a bit of a... You've got it there. 17,920. As we see Ashman, who had a brilliant first half, he said this will be his 18th kick as he kicks it towards uh, centre wing. The mark has been taken. From the Carlton goal. They're trailing by five points. Pushed out by McKenzie. Back to Ashman. A snap and goal. This is coming around nicely. Will it be a goal? Yes, sir. So the Blues have hit the front. That's Ashman's first goal. So it's Carlton for Back into the centre, it's Madden, wins that one again. Beautifully ruck rove by Cork Amelis, the mark taken by Ashman at half forward. Ashman, Carlton veteran rover, still inside the square. Oh, That's a wow. mammoth flat punt. Oh, what a ripper! It's a goal, I think! What a kick! Oh, goal of the day! Mark it down! Ashman, 65 metres if it was an inch. 10-6 to 6-5 at Princess Park. Well, I wouldn't start celebrating if I was a Carlton player or a Carlton fan, but this Aston side can fight back. But things don't look too uh, good. But look at this kick from the end. Again, Reed's kick is out wide. No one there for uh, Aston. An easy mark taken here by Sheldon. And they go deep into attack with a long hand pass. Coming over to Wayne Johnson. And back on the left foot. Has a long shot up there towards Harms. He goes to punch. Could be a goal to Aston. He can pick it up. He fumbles the ball. Back to Sheldon. Gets through two of them. Tried to get a kick but couldn't get clear. Now Aston has kicked it through for a goal. Oh, they deserve that count. They fought hard. That's Aston's third goal. So at 16-9, 105 Carlton to Western, 7-5-47. Carlton looking world beaters today, up towards half forward. Roach, now it's um, it's grabbed there by Fraser Murphy, over to Ashman, Ashman fires, and there's another one. Oh, boy, this is a procession. Hello, a bit of here that Mark, he's already taken a couple of rippers today, and that was another beauty on half forward flank. Harms, he goes back. For the long kick, oh gee, who can mark this? The ball down to the ground, a flying shot at the goals by Ashman, and another one goes on the board to Carlton. This is champagne football by Carlton. 16-10, 106, they lead Richmond, 112-18. A weak player, they've got players winning everywhere. Richmond have got everyone down. 
as we see a couple of real hard tries. We see the ball taken a shark by Ashman. He straightens up, he fires. Don't tell me that's another one. Yes, it is. It's a goal. 19 goals, 10, 124 Carlton. They lead Richmond, one goal, 12, 18. This is a schmozzle. The eyes. Short to the half forward line, Ashman. Cool and calm as a cucumber is Rodney. Some of the players do things that could almost cost them 15 metres as Ashman. A glorious yeah, punt. It's a great punt. And he's goal. 2 5, plays 1 2 on Seven's big lead. Madden puts the ball long up towards half forward. Richard Osman, almost a great mark. Comes in, tackles Harms. Harms, a wide hand pass out towards Ashman. Ashman with Pekin as his shadow, taps the ball forward. Mackenzie picks it up, gets it back to Ashman. Ashman goes short across the ground. Excellent play by Rod Ashman. Finds Harms at centre half forward. Fitzroy under plenty of pressure at the moment. There's a hurried snapshot down towards Ashman. Takes the mark, 10 metres out from goal directly. Seven kicks to Rod Ashman. Well, although he's in the mud patch, he shouldn't miss. He doesn't miss, and that's a very handy goal in the breeze as well. Fitzroy must be starting to wonder what they can do. They're kicking with it. At the back, there's Harms again. Picks the ball up, drives it out towards the Ashman. And Loveridge, Ashman grabs the mark right on the boundary line. It'll be a difficult shot. Pockets here aren't that deep though, Luke. Well, he's missed, uh, they've missed some easy shots. Maybe they'll kick the difficult one. That usually happens. And believe you me, Carlton need this goal. There's the kick on its way. Now that's oh. a beauty. Well, that's the way it goes. And uh, at the 13, uh, just over the 13 minute mark of this second quarter. Here's Bell Park today. Madden wins it out of the middle. Can they take it out of the centre? Ashman, yes, steals it. Short pass. Out comes Ralph, and he takes it on the chest. It was uh, Madden, then Reese Jones, then Ralph, and Ashman's a stop for a chat there in the forward pocket. Fires at goal and puts through another one. He was all... After the Little League game the other week. Johnston. Johnston. Clear. Out of sight of the ground. Can almost bounce his way up to half forward. Centres it. Ashman in front. Can't complete the mark, but taps it cleverly for danger here. Meldrum picks it up, fires away at goal. Pretty good-looking kick, and he's dubbed it. 